Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to more family friendly gaming with Soap the Great. We're back on the Hypermind Vanilla server and we are standing here in front of this unfinished project and... Oh, oh, do you hear that? That must mean it's time for some building.
Well, how about that? What do you think? Uh, it's coming together pretty good. You can see the design a little bit. You might have figured out by the end of that little time lapse that I got tired of doing the windows on the middle. And uh, yeah, that was kind of tedious. So I I just went with the the facade here. It was a little bit tedious to take the I just have all of those materials for the windows and then I'd run out of the glass, have to drop down and yeah, it was anyway, it was it was rather annoying. So uh, so yeah, and and by the middle of it, I figured out a better way to do the windows and I'm going to show you how to do that in just a little bit, but a um, few notes of interest here. When we were last here, I put uh, something like this. You see this glass right here? I put the same thing on this face and um, that was wrong. So I, I want the nether brick to show through a little bit and on this face it's fine if it does. So, so I pulled that back out and we're just going to have the glass on the front of the nether brick right here on this little jut out portion. So so that is that. The other thing is that the penthouse is not complete and uh, that's going to take a little bit extra time and we're not going to go up there to see but uh, I mean you can you can kind of see here if you remember the particular um, oh hello piggy are you Josephine? Nope not Josephine. So my inspiration for this building is the Manchester Unity building in Melbourne in Victoria, Australia and uh, the top part of that building is where most of the detail comes in. And I'm pretty excited about what I've got planned for up there but uh, we don't have that done quite yet. But uh, let's go up and see how to do these windows and we'll have to go up a little bit. So what I had previously done uh, this level, yeah, so what I'd previously been doing is just coming up as I was doing the outer edge of the um, of that stained glass in the corners here. Uh, maybe I can show. Can I show you? Yeah. Let's just. Hopefully, I get that. Yeah. So as I was doing those corners, I was also trying to do the windows, and uh, that was just, yeah, really tedious. So instead, what I found is that I can do, I can do this. Okay, and that gives me the stair uh, that is facing upwards. Okay, standard, standard like that. And then I want an upside down stair like that. So I can just look up. There's enough space there that I can reach up and put in that little detail. And then we fill in like so with the glass. And so I'm just going to be doing this. And if I can get the right hitbox, there we go. Look up and fill in. So got a lot of work left to do still I'm gonna do most of that off camera but uh, let me show you something else now I've mentioned it before but there's something here called the interstitial space okay so in most buildings there is space between each floor to hide things like wiring and and conduit and uh, just various various bits and bobs like that and this building is going to be no different so anybody that comes in and uses or sets up a little office building here. Uh, they'll have a little bit of space down below in case they want to do some redstone mechanics or something. I don't know. Maybe you know we'll we'll see as that as the time comes. But um, they'll be able to do that. There's there's room in between each floor, and you can see that we've got some of the lighting here, some of the lighting detail. We have the sea lanterns, and that shows through on the exterior of the building. Let's just put the flooring back in here. There we go. And what we're gonna do, are each um, each floor took up, was it 28 sea lanterns, okay? 28 sea lanterns per floor, which would be fine if we had a drops only guardian farm, which is what I'm working on. But uh, yeah, that's a lot of sea lanterns. And then the top portion takes even more. So um, yeah, I, I had to spend some more time at the existing guardian farm and it took quite some time to get the lanterns that I needed for that. So uh, that reminds me that we actually need to go take a look at 
the existing Guardian Farm. Let me drop off some of this material and then what we're going to do is we're going to take a little field trip over to the Guardian Farm and see how progress is coming along there and then we'll get back here and take care of a lot of that stuff off camera like I was telling you about. Well, we are here in the nether and I've already seen evidence of some more progress. You might have seen Kondrick's and Nimson's episode about figuring out where this thing is going to go. And so I see Kondrick, I believe, uh, it hasn't been me, but Kondrick's been digging out over here. This is trying to get the nether portal situated for when we finish this whole thing up. So uh, because of the amount of work that's been done out here, I'm betting that a lot of work has been done on the inside. So let's take a look at what has been going on. Let's just see. Oh, whoa. So, uh, so yeah, I've gotten some work done. If you noted a couple of weeks ago, I, I said, hey, we're going to be switching up the schedule a little bit. And here we go. We've gotten really going on this Guardian Farm. Kondrick has been cleaning out the water over here. We're going to have kind of a concentric circle, set of concentric circles around the Guardian Farm. But let's take a look at the progress thus far over here. So you can see it has been dug out. We are now down to bedrock. You can't see it from here. You can see the rails in place and those are done as well. So uh, really I started this episode, I started recording a few weeks before we got this, but uh, sometimes it takes a while because we got a bunch of large projects going on at the same time. So um, this has been recorded, or this is being recorded um, significantly after the rest of the episode has been recorded. But here's the progress thus far, just to give you an idea of what's going on. And again, I am doing this on live streams. And by the time you see this, we should be uh, pretty well complete with the farm itself and and I will be turning my attention to helping Kondrick clear out the ocean all the way around. So in effect we're going to end up with a perimeter um, 128 radius around the center of that farm. So this circle right here is 64 blocks from the center and that circle out there is 128 blocks from the center. So we will end up with close to a perimeter, if not a full perimeter, but uh, we should have pretty good efficiency on that farm by the end of this whole project, which is exciting. But that's not what we're here for. We're here to get more done on the office high rise. So I'm going to head back there, get done what it was that, uh, or what it was, the, uh, the windows, make sure that those are all good to go and then we should be going from there all right so I'll see you back over in the commercial district all right ladies and gentlemen we are back over here in the commercial district and I am currently in the replay mod just to show you real quick and this is a fly through or fly around and it's helping me to make sure that all of the windows are complete I'm not seeing anything missing so we're actually doing pretty good. So do let me know if you saw anything out of place, but that is that is the office high rise to to the current state. So I believe I've gotten every window. We'll just do a quick fly around again just to make sure we got the lower ones. This is not not exactly the most most comprehensive search, but I think I think we're pretty good. So we'll do this a couple more times as the project commences, but let's get back to Hypermind proper and we will finish out this episode. All right, we're back on Hypermind proper. We're on the first floor and let's just go over some of the things that we're going to be doing in upcoming episodes just to give you an idea of the project. So we've got these floors. They have tons of open space. We're going to be splitting them into separate offices and having a common area right here, common hallway facing the front, and then we're going to have a little maintenance hallway in the back. And I'm not sure how it's going to be accessible, but we'll figure that out in upcoming episodes. But I need to split those apart. I also need to, let's take a look at the penthouse level. 
we've got some work to do up there. And let's just head on up. So you may have seen the guide pillars of cobblestone and those go from that level all the way down to the first floor. We need to take those out, put back in the regular floor, and you can see that we're missing a bit of a roof. And the reason I have not put the roof on is because we've still got the top decoration. So feel free, again, go take a look at the Manchester Unity article down in the description box below. Also, Ozymandias LP was kind enough to take some pictures of the Manchester Unity building for me on a recent trip to Melbourne, Australia. I think that's where... Was that where PAX was? PAX Australia? I can't remember exactly why he was there, but he was showing MK the Worst around, and he kindly took some pictures for me. So I'm going to link those down in the description box below. But you can kind of see what we're going to be working on in an upcoming episode. Yes, this one's kind of, kind of short, um, shorter than usual, but I've got a lot of editing. We've gotten a lot of work done, and so we're going to leave it at about a... 13, 15 minute length somewhere in there. You can hear the little ones in the background. But that's going to be it for this installment of Family Friendly Gaming here on the Soap the Great channel. Again, if I'm not comfortable sharing it with my kids, I'm not going to share it with you. So hopefully you enjoyed and thank you so much for watching. Join us next time. Uh, I'm not sure what we're going to be doing, but we will be back here, don't worry, and getting the top part done amongst all the other little details. So this is an ongoing project and um, hopefully you're enjoying. Let me know what you think so far. I'd love to hear from you. That's it for now. Bye-bye.